Hi guys, it's me, Boo. Hey, Dad. From Boo and Dad TV, and today we're gonna be reviewing uh the bathroom scene <laughs> right. from Harry Potter. The new 2021 uh, Lego Harry Potter uh, Chamber of Secrets uh, set. This particular set is Five the seconds. bathroom scene. Uh, like I said, kind of for the uh, entrance to the Chamber of Secrets. Um, this is a new kind of modular uh, set, three set series um, that you uh, you buy separately, put them together, and then you can put them uh, all together. As you see, they're kind of in a modular form uh, to create one larger scene. So um, uh, this is our first review, and like I said, this one will just be focusing on this one that you see here, which is uh, primarily the bathroom. And the, the entrance to Chamber of Secrets. Right, dude? Yeah. All right, come on down, dude. Let's get this going. One second. What you working on over there? Uh, I'm determined to figure out what the name of the set is actually called. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Uh, I think, what, Chamber of Secrets bathroom? <laughs> Seems like it. But anyway, to start the review, these sets are all to celebrate the 20th uh, anniversary of uh, Harry Potter on uh, and, and Lego. So the you Polyjuice get... Potion, Potion Mistake set. Okay, so yeah, the Polyjuice Polyjuice Potion I can't even say it. Potion poly, poly, poly Potion Juice Potion Mistake yeah. set. So yeah, like I said, obviously in this scene, uh, they, they do find uh, the bathroom, but this is more focusing on um, when they use the Polyjuice Potion and uh, you transform. know, transform into, uh, you know, into the Identities of the guys from Slytherin. So, um, but Hermione's was a different, was different. Right, right, right. So, uh, and we'll get into all that. But anyway, to explain this guy up here, um, these are very, very cool. But with these sets to celebrate that 20th anniversary, you get one golden figure with each set. So there's three in total. And this is the set you get Harry. There he is. Looks great. Got the nice print on there in the wand. And uh, I think we're going to actually stand. use the golden display stand just to show off the figures. Yeah, in the back. And then, of course, you the get 20 years. Uh, and I believe that says 20 years of Harry Potter. But of Lego Harry Potter. Of Lego Harry Potter. Yeah. So, very, very cool touch they put into that. So, this total set here, um, of course, obviously, this is this is Boog and this is me. We do not come with the set. Yeah. So, you get these three figures here and the golden figure. Uh, for a pretty reasonable price, I think what around twenty bucks. Yeah. Is that what they were charging for this? Yeah. Yeah. So and it's, also, it's not bad. and no, we're not selling our own minifigures. <laughs> no, we like to keep those. Uh, we love the minifigs. Oh, we well, we want to keep us. So I'm gonna set him over Five to the bucks. side. Five, All right, Book. So I uh, you built the set. What mm -hmm. do you think? Uh, it was a pretty good build. I built it rather quickly. Yeah, yeah, it's really fast. Not not a whole lot of pieces uh, involved in this one, as you can tell. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna slide out each figure and kind of show you them. Well, so here put is them on a good, the golden display stand. Okay. So here you go. So here is Harry, which he pretty much looks very similar to the golden figure. I think that's what he's based on. Of course, you just get all his regular details here. But he is wearing a slithering outfit. Yep, got the slithering outfit on. And a new when he changes facial over. expression for Harry Potter. Yeah, and the new expression. That nice print on the front and the back. So he's a really good figure. All right. Is there any printing on the back? Uh, yeah, oh, suit. Yeah. Next okay, up, let's get I think these were kind of like robes they were wearing then. Yeah. So here's Hermione. With the little juice. With Same the, thing. Uh, nice looking printed robe juice. suit. She's just got her juice. Uh, and then we turn around to the back. And she's got kind of the same print that Harry does on there. Looks really good. And last but not least, we have Ron. Mr. Weasley. I think they pretty much use most of the same bodies for all three of these. Uh, the suit's very, very similar. Of course, Ron's kind of got his yucky, gross expression on his face. It's really funny. And then the back side here looks nice. All right. Okay, but now they drink the potion. They did. They drink the potion. Yeah, they transform. Slash evolve. They did. Yes. And now Harry has transformed. Okay. So, also included in the set, you get the transformation, which is great, which is basically just a head and a hair swap. So, this is Harry. Well, you had to turn around the head. 
Oh, okay, so it's printed on the back. So you turn the head around and put on the different haircut, and you have the swap with the guy from Slytherin. And that's Harry's version. I'm kind of interested. Let's see, let's see how Janet looks with this haircut. Just so we figure it out. All right. Hey, it's not, it doesn't look bad. No, I think it's kind of close. Yeah. May have to use that one. So anyway, let's do. Uh, so let's do Ron's transformation. Okay. When I first saw this guy's face, I thought it was the guy from Hufflepuff. So again, turn Ron, <laughs> turn Ron's head around and put on the different haircut, and he's the other Slytherin guy. You know, I thought his he looked like the uh, Hufflepuff guy. Yeah, so I think it was really cool the way they included uh, all that in there for you to do that with. And but Hermione's is a little different. At the time, she had no idea her cat was actually uh, was actually slithering all along. Right, right, exactly. Of course, yeah, Hermione's the funniest, uh, and of course, why she couldn't join on the uh, kind of undercover mission there. Because for whatever reason, I can't remember, she turns into the cat. And you get the cat mask that just goes over her head. And it's really well done. Looks good. There it is from the back. Nice. And, of course, uh, inside here to the set, here's the stall that she hides in. Don't look! Uh, or, 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 what about, oh, no, boot fell off. or what about this haircut, Dad? Uh, I think that's a little much for me there. No. <laughs> Don't think that would qualify. So I'm going to move us over and we'll get to the set. Oh, no, Dad's hat. As you can see here, uh, there's your nice close-up. Really good-looking uh, uh, replica of the bathroom here, the sink, um, the mirrors, all of that. I, I, think, I think this is the first time it's been done in full-size form. I remember building it with the actual uh, Hogwarts Castle, the mini, of course, version. Um, but I think this is the first time it's been done in full size. Tails! Do you remember building this before, Boo? Is it part of any of the other sets I did a few years ago? No. I think we have uh, just about all of those, yeah. So I think this is the first full size version. So uh, it's good. Um, and of course, uh, as it should, it has a little secret here. When secret. they actually figure out how to open it, it opens. And well, it, it actually looks... has a hole in the bottom. And what this allows you I to do. I think that. Dad, um, Dad is, looks like he um, he saw how I, uh, there's a slide at the end. Right, right. Wait, so, Dad, Dad, there's no slide. Oh no! No, no, no. Dad. <laughs> so if you watch our other uh, review on the full um, the full set when all the modulars are together, all three of them, uh, you'll see that this actually fits in there on a, on the second floor, and below it is the uh, actual chamber of secrets at the bottom. So the way this sits down on top of like a slide, opens up, you put your character through, and they come out down below on the slide, uh, kind of like in the movie, and then uh, they're there, you know, in the Chamber of Secrets. So that's actually really cool. Uh, if you look at the sides here, just some entrances, and you can see, like I said, this is where the pegs they use to make it fit in on both sides, because this kind of goes like slap dab in the middle of the, the build. And there's the back side, which actually forms part of the castle wall once it's all put together. And there's the bottom. But yeah, I thought it was really cool, really clever. Um, a good way, I guess, for them to get out a lot of uh, minifigures. Because uh, by the time you buy these three modulars, you have almost, what, 20 minifigs? Yeah. Um, uh, included, you know, when you buy all three. So when you look at it that way, uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good value because of how many minifigs you're actually getting. All right, Boo, so you built it. Uh, tell us a little bit about the build. Um, it was a pretty fun build. Okay. Uh, hard or easy? Uh, kind of easy. Okay, and you got it done pretty fast? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, this is definitely the smallest one of the three sets and the most exp or least expensive. <laughs> so, all right, well, we hope you enjoyed the review. I don't have anything else to add to you, Boot. Nope. Okay, guys, in this video, make sure to subscribe to Boog and Dare TV for some more awesome toy fun. Have a great day. See you next Bye. time. Bye.